Yeah, you too. We back in this bit. You feel me? Let me put that seat back. Stupid ass. Yo, what good you two? It's the kid watching this bit, man. Well, the camera shake like mug, huh? Stupid ass. But today we're answering a question that I myself went through, and I know some of y'all went through it as well. This right here is the next episode on the Drip Master series where I tell you all the sauce keys secret tips all that stuff in the streetwear clothing business you know what i'm saying everything that i learned over the years i'm passing it down to you you feel me so with that being said this is something i went through a lot you know what i'm saying i went through this a lot and that's because at first like i was saying last video i didn't have that unique style i didn't have it bro so with that being said what i had to do was result into copying other people you feel me and what happens with that is you're not able to wear the outfit like how other people wear in it you feel me like I'll, I'll see a fit i'm like damn that'd be fire i want i want to wear it i want to go ahead and buy it and cop it myself and when i put it on i feel like the walmart version I, like i don't feel like it don't it don't hit the same bro it's not the same feeling so i always wondered why is that and why i can't pull off stuff that other people got and if you go down this rabbit hole it's scary because you then start feeling like man how come i can't wear stuff like other people what do they got that i don't and it makes you feel less of yourself but ultimately it's not that you can't wear stuff it's not that you can't put on pieces like other people it's that you're trying to put on another man's fit now i ain't gonna lie number one first off you glazing like crazy is this nigga serious and i don't blame you bro no homo i went through it as well <laughs> i went through it as well bro we all go through bro it's all learning lessons at the end of the day but the reason why and this video ain't gonna be too long you know what i'm saying again these are the type of videos where i'm just talking to y'all we really just conversating chopping it up you feel me but the reason why it don't look as good on you as it does on the next man is because that's his unique style now in the last video y'all boy go check it out man we talked about unique style and how to get it and ultimately unique style is something that is one of one you know what i'm saying it's something that you can't replicate i can't replicate and trust me i've tried before you know what i'm saying i've seen these rappers shout out offset shout out gunna you know what i'm saying my freaking i'm seeing these people dress up i'm like man them fits be fat you know what i'm saying and i was trying to copy it. i was trying to do exactly what they was doing and it don't work and that is a rule that implements not only in fashion but in every aspect and every other aspect of life you can't copy another man one-to-one -one and expect the same result because that is his path that is what he did you can emulate it by taking inspiration and doing it in your own way but you can never copy and expect the same results the same reason why in english class they gonna get your ass for uh for what, what's it called plagiarism well, shut up. They gonna get your ass for plagiarism the same way how you can get your ass striked for copywriting. You can't copy another man. This is implemented in so many things, but in fashion, people think, oh, I'm gonna just wear what the next man has. It don't work like that. And that's another reason why I keep telling y'all don't follow these trends because in your head, you're thinking, oh, everyone's wearing it. Cool. But when you try it on and it don't look good on you, you start feeling a little weird because it's like, damn, everybody can wear it, but it looks weird on me. And it makes you feel a little lesser of yourself. But the reason for that is because it's just not meant for you. And that's okay, bro. Not everything is meant for everybody. A lot of people need to understand and people don't understand understand this because they just be trend hoppers and just trying everything not everything is meant for everyone my bad if my camera's shaking you know what i'm saying i have to trap it off the phone bro you know what i'm saying it hit different shout out fybj main it hit different when you can't use the camera because your laptop can't edit the 4k footage bro it's a different feeling it sucks you feel me so we gotta trap it off the phone it hit different shine but you know what I'm saying? Not everything is for everybody. We have to understand that. The path of everybody may not be for you. Even if everybody can do it, it may not be for you. And that is okay. That's one thing I want you to understand. It's okay that you may not be able to wear something that another man wear. I ain't gonna lie, there, there should be no reason why you're pressed about it, but I understand why it may be frustrating, especially if you're putting your own bread into it. You know what I'm saying? You're buying these fits like I was, you're buying these things, and it ain't hitting this like, and it ain't hitting like it's supposed to hit. Yeah. I know I, I can understand why you frustrated for sure. I can understand why you mad, but you gotta understand that is their unique style. It is meant for them, especially if it's a unique outfit. It's something you don't see everybody else do. It's hard to copy it, bro. It's extremely hard to copy it. Shout out everyone that puts on those fits with the big red boots. I don't know how y'all do it, but you know what I'm saying? That's y'all unique style. 
I know if I did, I'd look like a fool. Like them big red boots look hard, but I would use it as like decor in the house. It would be like, you know what I'm saying? Some artwork, I can't put those on. You feel me? I'm a skinny jean kid, you feel me? I wear the skinny jeans. I can't wear no baggy stuff because my legs skinny. They look weird on me. But if I were to wear it because another man wear it and it looked weird on me, and I would be like, why does it not work? I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to wear everything they're wearing, but it's not working. And this is a mistake that a lot of people that get into fashion have because they wear what everybody else is wearing. They wear what their favorite creators are wearing. And because they can't pull it off, they say, you know what, forget this fashion. I'm going back to what I was going back to. And you know what I'm saying? They either leave fashion or they feel worse about themselves all because they just didn't understand that you have to create your own style. You get what I'm saying? People call this clothing stuff an artwork. And I understand why, because it is your own creation. It is your own coming together of pieces. You know what I'm saying? So if it's your own, you can't copy one to one another man's fit you can't do it and that's that's why that's why i keep on saying don't be copying these trends because if it's for you you would like it but if it's not for you it's just not for you bro and that's okay instead of trying to figure out what everybody else wearing and just copying what they're wearing again when i say this it is not bad to take influence and if there's a piece that someone else has it's okay to go and cop the piece. There's nothing wrong with it if you like it. But I'm talking about what I did, and that's just copying outfit and trying to figure out why it looks good on that person and not me. It is their style, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, it's what they wear, and it may not look good on you, and that's okay. Another thing is too, you guys have to um, remember that body size, proportions, and all these other things are very important. One thing that a lot of people don't realize is that these rich people on Instagram have their clothes tailored to them. Now, getting your clothes tailored, it does not cost that much. Getting your stuff tailored, I think a t-shirt will cost you like $20 to get tailored. If you are coming from the same situation I'm coming from where you didn't have no money on, you didn't have no money, that stuff start adding up and become expensive. But you have to understand that these people on Instagram get their clothes tailored. So tailored clothes means that it's perfectly fitting for their body. So when you buy it and you buy the untailored version and you put it on, it gonna look not the same. It's not gonna have the same fit. So that's one thing. Another thing is you guys have to realize body sizes matter bro some people can't wear high top shoes because they short it takes up half their leg it's just it all depends on what kind of body size you are but this matters a lot because instagram is hard to tell sometimes and if they don't say it you wouldn't know especially the youtubers because a lot of times we be sitting down it's it's damn near impossible to tell how tall somebody is when they sit down so those are some things you got to understand bro you got to understand and ultimately you have to develop your own style bro. you know what i'm saying and when you develop your own style again like i always say if there's a piece somebody else if you like this hoodie you mess with the undefeated hoodie go ahead and buy it if you genuinely like it if you can vision yourself and you mess with it then go ahead and buy it bro you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that you can never buy something that another man has because everybody I'm not the only one with this hoodie, bro. Everybody else got this hoodie, right? But you gotta create your own style, bro. You gotta create something that you like. And like I always say, man, you gotta go in. If you're starting out, bro, don't buy your clothes online. Don't, because you can't try it on. How can you see that you like it? If you can't try it on, if you're new to this. Now, if you're not new to this, you know I'm saying go ahead and cop stuff. But if you're new to this, then don't buy stuff online. At least until you know what you like. Because I'm telling you right now, bro, hella times I done got stuff online. It come in and it's like the hoodies are thin. And you know, something about me, I don't like thin hoodies. The quality's off, it don't fit. Bro, there's so, so many pieces fire pieces i had to give away because it just didn't fit it happens bro but if it keeps happening in your first gang into fashion the fittings off quality's off is not hitting the same as what you see other people Hell no, dude. i can understand your frustration trust me because i went through it as well but that's something i need to tell y'all boys you know what i'm saying again putting y'all boys down don't be frustrated don't be mad when things don't go your way with this fashion stuff because what is made for one man is not made for another man you got to understand we are uniquely created by god so there's no reason to be copying another man fit you know what i'm saying the only fits that i say you can copy are tracksuits you know what i'm saying because they're the same for everybody but don't make the mistake of me on just buying it and try to wonder why this stuff don't work the same you feel me with that being said though let me know if this stuff helped you know what i'm saying we are going on a rampage right now uploading spread you feel me because y'all boys deserve it. and y'all boys been showing the support like a mug bro y'all boys been kicking it showing the support so i'm gonna continue to push out these videos for y'all man you know what i'm saying i do this for y'all you get me a lot of y'all boys asking other questions so i'm gonna continue answering it and heads up if you're listening to this heads up we are nearing the end of the streetwear mass 
master class. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm putting y'all boys on all the drip secrets. We're nearing the end of it. So y'all boys may be wondering what's coming next. Now when I tell y'all boys a lot is coming next, a lot is coming next. But one thing a lot of y'all ask is money. If you was in my situation, which a lot of y'all is, y'all ain't got no money on, bruh. Y'all 14, 15, no job, trying to stack some cheese and don't know how to. I will come to y'all with all those things. You know what I'm saying? After this series, I tell y'all boys how the hell you gonna get some money. I'm gonna tell y'all boys how I get money. I'm gonna tell y'all boys all that it will come in the next series but well, y'all boys stay tuned to that i love y'all boys i'm gonna catch you in the next video and peace face out